a Samsung PS43 D450. It's a plasma display, 43 inch. Fault is no power, just clicks on and off. So you can hear a kind of ticking sound from the transformer, which indicates to me one of the sustain boards is most likely short. Okay, so now I'm going. I've just unplugged the sustain. Why? Why sustain? Uh, y main on a Samsung, um, but the Y main chains with the X main. So I'm unplugging both the Y main and X main. Click. No ticking. TV is now on. The light's solid. So Y main or the X main is short. What I've done is I set a meter up uh, to measure the VSUS or VS voltage. This panel says it should be 207 using a fairly inaccurate meter. So see it reaches 209 then it shuts down. This is because the control board is detecting a fault. But we do have got a good VSUS so VS so the power supply is probably okay. Okay so I've now plugged the Y main in but I've disconnected the X mains bus connector. So plug it in. Ticking from the transformer, relay just clicks on off, zero volts out from it. So we know the Y main is most likely failed on this model. It could also be the buffer boards. I'm going to rule out the plasma panel here. This is the VDA connector, provides power to the bottom drivers. Just unplug it. Do not plug that in while the set is live. It will kill the panel. And then we're going to plug it in. And we're going to measure VA this time. Nothing. Okay, so it's obviously the rest of the Y main that's dead, so not the panel. Okay, I've removed the Y main and we find the secret to uh, Samsung's ultra cheap Y mains. You know, there's only three transistors on there. I'm thinking, how the hell do they do a sustain ball with three transistors? Because I thought the minimum was six. It's all surface mount, which means overheating transistors. So, what we're going to do is we're going to check from Vsus to ground on this on this board and we're going to measure the ohmsage ohmsage is that actually a word um, trying to locate the Vsus now so pin from there so I'll put this in the ground lug Set the meter up on 2000 ohm continuity. Measure to ground. We find 33 ohms, so the board is dead. So we need to locate uh, a new board, basically, because these boards are pretty much unrepairable. I mean, you can get a new board for about 15 quid for one of these, so I wouldn't bother with repairing it, because you're going to end up replacing about 10 little fets on here, and you're going to be well past the cost of a new board. You can see a lot of cost saving decisions in order to bring these because these are about 250 quid each which is a bargain price for plasma display but obviously some cost decisions have been made.